Usually every morning, um, I get them up and I usually do like feeds one by one, but the boys are learning how to hold their bottles by themselves. So you see he's, so I'm trying to get them to learn how to hold the bottles on the pillows. So I'll feed them two by like together. Walker's not entertaining it today, so he's gonna have to wait. And this might be a little too big for him. Huh. Let me get a bird pop. What? If you look behind me, Riley already went. I decided to do this video after I had already done her. So, my bad. But, Riley already went. They woke up at like, what time did I wake up? They probably woke up at 7 and I made them kind of doze back off till 7.30ish, 8. Because, um... I'm working on getting them on the 12 hour schedule to where they're sleeping 12 hours at night and we went to bed later last night because we, we went to church so I was trying to get them to 8 so whenever they woke up at 7 I kind of just soothed them and they slept for another hour. Riley was up at 7.30 but I got them out of bed at 8. I could hear them like talking and stuff but as long as they're not screaming I try to make them stay in their bed just so that they're getting accommodated to um, the 12 hours. And why? You want your baba? I can get you baba in just a minute. Make the baba eat first. It's very nice in the morning, or really any feed, when they're not screaming at me because babies don't understand wait your turn. Hang on, baba, I gotta burp you. Babies don't understand wait your turn, and with multiples, they don't have, really have a choice but to wait their turn. So, especially whenever there's only one caregiver. He just wants to chug his whole bottle. Good job, Bubby. But for the most part, our babies are really good. Like, they've learned patience. We're working on a sleep schedule, which they pretty much, they have that down pat. It's more so nap times. They don't really have a schedule for, but honestly, in like my opinion, and I know that babies are supposed to get naps, but I'm not stressing like all four of them being down at the same time because they sleep so good at night. So I don't know like at nighttime, like who's waking up when or because they're going back to sleep, like they're self soothing themselves, but I don't know how many or who is like waking up and playing, like he's playing right now, that kind of stuff. So I don't want to stress nap times right now until we get into more demanding schedule time. So that's what I do. Okay, now I'm going to go get Miss Collins' girl because we have two here, one there, and so we got one more. Let's go get her. Okay, this girl wakes up so smiley, huh? You wake up so smiley. She's rotten, y'all. She's rotten. Hey, Sissy. Hey, Sissy. You like your 
Bubba. Yeah, you do. You gotta sit back. You gotta sit back here. Good job. You hold it. No. Okay. Now, usually, usually I would, um, after I feed, I'm still feeding Collins right now, but after I feed, I usually will sit on the couch and check emails, do some editing, cook breakfast, and by cook breakfast, by cook breakfast, I mean, um, microwave a sandwich because I don't like to cook in the morning time. Sometimes I'll feel a little frisky and I'll cook some eggs, but usually I do all of that. But today I'm going to take you guys with us because we're going to take the baby some Valentine's Day pictures slash seven month pictures. So I'm going to bring y'all along for that. I obviously don't leave her like this, but look how cute. And then Riley has to sit up over here because she has reflux. And this swing does really good at keeping our setup straight. But let me go grab Miss Collins girl her swing. I'm scary, baby girl. <laughs> she loves this thing. Collins! Now I'm gonna get them like a little play area to set up. Because I have to actually get dressed because I'm going to be in the pictures. Here. In play. Now off camera, I'm going to clean up all of this and kind of straighten up everything. And then I'm going to bring y'all to get dressed with me. So for now, I'm going off camera. Okay, a little bit better. So I cleaned up everything. The boys will lay down here. Look, Turner's like grabbing him. But the boys will lay down here and play with these little animals. And the girls will sit here and most likely fall back asleep. Go get dressed. Because I need to put on some makeup because this is horrendous. Do my hair and then figure out something to wear. So. Let's do that.
I gotta say is, it's a lot of work by myself. So, y'all better be following my Instagram and liking these pictures that we're about to be going and taking. Oh, okay. All right, real quick, I'm gonna pick up all this stuff. So I don't like to come home to a messy house. I just don't want it all over the floor. And then. I've got to find tape and then I'm loading up. So I'm gonna stop this and y'all can pick up there. Oh, oh, we're bam. Yeah, I'm out of storage on my phone. Thanks. There's all the babies. Riley girl is not very excited. Colin's just chilling right now. I'm sure she'll start screaming. Go sit. Let me look at the. Snack break. Colin's girl is done. She does not want to participate any longer. Walker's almost out. Riley has been on one. She acting like her daddy. And poor Turner is still hungry. So I'm gonna have to get him some more milk. How do you feel, photographer? We're doing great. <laughs> Okay. Nice job. <laughs> you tired? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, baby. We're going home. That was literally exhausting, but I know that the pictures are going to be worth having the memories. But I literally have red lipstick all over me. But make sure you're following our Instagram and, um, Facebook if you want on Facebook Instagram this is gonna be on my YouTube and then we also have a glimpse of it on TikTok but make sure you're watching those and um, for the picture so that you can see what how they turned out but thank you so much for watching I'm heading home I'm done vlogging for today I'm literally exhausted that was a lot of work but thank you so much for watching <laughs>